What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Today I'm going to be doing a showdown live with this concept for a Frostmoth team I had. Now, I usually wouldn't do two showdown lives in a row because I know some people don't like the showdown content, however it does seem like a lot of you guys are pretty cool with it. So yeah, um, I also have my first day of classes today so I don't want to take a lot of time to set up like the Switch for recording. But this is a relatively new team that I've made, I think I made it like in 10 minutes pretty much but it was putting in a lot of work when i was actually using it um because i was messing around with it earlier now that's like i mean like i haven't tested a lot with it which is why we're on my low ladder account we're in like what 1251 so this is pretty low ladder i just want to try out frostmoth uh the team is basically using frostmoth as a switch into pretty much any special attack um it's mainly really useful for switching in on Tapu Fini and Galarian Moltres in particular, which while the team doesn't necessarily struggle with them, that is a reason to use Frostmoth. Um, at plus one speed, we actually outspeed base 111s like Thunderous and Tornadus, allowing us to one-shot them with Ice Beam. Uh, we have the Focus Sash and Ice Skills to make sure we have a lo enough longevity for that. We have Figgy Berry and Cinera with Fake Out, Parting Shot, Taunt, and Flare Blitz, a very bulky set. We have Life Orb, Dragapult, standard fast offensive set, a fast Miracle Seed Rillaboom. We have Light Screens Tapu Koko. Uh, and the reason I'm using Screens Tapu Koko instead of a Lackey on this team is because I didn't actually have like a Tapu Fini or any of the Fairy on this team, meaning that I had no switch into Urshifu. So I just felt comfortable using Tapu Koko instead. And it's been working out pretty well. Uh, we have Light Screen, Reflect, Electrub, Dazzling Gleam. Uh, that's just going to be really nice utility there, especially for the speed control. And we have Power Herb Celesteela with enough speed, so at plus two we're outspeeding Dragapult. 52 HP because that's just what was left over from uh, maxing out our special attack. Air Slash Meteor, Beam, Flash Cannon, Protect. But yeah, uh, this is once again a work in progress team, but I think it's going to be putting in a decent amount of work in this video. If you enjoyed it at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and comment down below right now what your favorite bug type is, or which favorite ice type is. Or maybe both. Maybe your favorite's Frostmoth. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, I was uh, messing around with this earlier this morning, and actually, like, I, I wasn't losing, which was surprising because I had Frostmoth. Um, this is a pretty strange team, but you should expect that when you're in, on low ladder like me right now. My high ladder account is currently in use for practicing for Players Cup 2. Uh, I'm bringing a Goliathpod team to that, so seeing a Goliathpod in a high ladder is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you guys want to check out my players cup practice sessions i did upload the first practice session to patreon the other day just one dollar a month you get exclusive patreon videos uh but this team i don't know what why they have comfy i'm assuming they're like weakness policy on the garchomp that makes me kind of want to lead off with frostmoth just so i can one shot garchomp if need be because i really don't see any other reason to have comfy on this team you have you have dual fairies you know they are very very celesteela weak but i have to play around the magneton first if i want to do that um so I think what I can do is I can actually go Frostmoth and Cinnaroy and lead, bring the Celesteela in the back, and Rillaboom doesn't look awful. It doesn't look awful, right? But I could get a lot of utility out of just setting up screens. Maybe I'll actually just go in Cinnaroy or Tapu Koko on lead with Frostmoth and Celesteela, just so I can get up screens reliably. It just makes it a lot easier, you know? Yeah, I'm thinking that they're probably just like weakness policy on the Garchomp, if anything. As they lead off uh, Magneton Rillaboom, I'm not sure what Magneton wants to do. It could just be analytic. I think I can set up a light screen here pretty reliably and go for a fake out on the Rillaboom. And the reason I'm going for light screen is because the Rillaboom's already at minus one. I'm mostly concerned about like, yeah, analytic max steel spike. That could be annoying. They fake out my Incineroar, which is perfectly fine. Get off the light screen. They go for the max steel spike. I do take a hefty amount from that, yikes. Um, I can go for the parting shot onto the Magneton now, and I can attempt to, uh, I can attempt to get off the Reflect. I don't have Flamethrower on my Celesteela, which is going to be an issue versus Magneton in particular, but I think that light screen is going to be really big. You go for the Grassy Glide, it does knock me out, which is fine. You go for a Max Lightning, I eat that up, get off my parting shot. And I'll go Celesteela here and just get right back in the Incineroar. I really don't think I take much from the Magneton anymore. Uh, and with Incineroar, I should be fine. I'll go ahead and set up a Meteor Beam. Or I could just 
I mean, do I outspeed this thing? I don't outspeed this thing, right? Yeah, I am slower than it. So what I could do instead is just go for a protect and then parting shot the Magneton. There's their Incineroar. You go for the Max Lightning on mine. I eat that up. Get in my Frost Moth. And I actually feel comfortable going for the Meteor Beam now and just getting back in my Incineroar to make sure I Intimidate theirs. I don't have a Reflect up, so this is going to be a very important Intimidate. And with their Magneton at half special attack with Light Screen up, I'm not taking too much from it. Analytics still will hurt quite a bit though. And plus one Meteor Beam does not secure the KO, but I don't think they're... Oh, they go for a close combat. Interesting. <laughs> you really don't see that much. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and max Airstream there in Cinera. Magneton could be annoying to deal with, but I can just set up a Quiver Dance right now. Max Airstream will knock out the Rillaboom. I shouldn't take much from this Magneton considering all the special attack drops I have on it and Ice Scales and the special defense boost. They go for a flash. <laughs> that was super effective. Hello? Alright, um, Fake Out doesn't really matter versus Frostmoth right now. I'll go ahead and just max Airstream the Incineroar again. Um, and I can go for another Quiver Dance pretty safely. I don't even care anymore. They get in their Comfy. Now, they do have all those things back on their Magneton, but I feel pretty comfortable just doubling into this thing. Um, my strongest move, it does resist max Airstream times four. Um, but I am at plus two. I mean, Max Rockfall is my strongest move versus it, so I'll just go ahead and go for, um... I suppose my best chance is Bug Buzz plus Max Rockfall. It does a solid amount. How much is this Max Rockfall doing? Oh, the special defense drop. Okay, I won. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, so that's gonna be GG. Managed to get our first win with the Frostmoth. Hopefully we can see a little bit more standard teams. A little bit more standard teams, because that was a very strange team to face off on the first battle. But I did uh, I did enjoy seeing Frostmoth take literally nothing. Ooh, okay, Toxapex. Toxapex is interesting. I actually made a, a Toxapex team back in Series 5, and it was fire. It was absolute fire. Um, Tapu Koko is going to be really great on lead here, because I, I can get off a Reflect. And I can lead off Celesteela. I can definitely lead off Celesteel. Let me bring the Incineroar. I think my last Pokemon is gonna have to be... I think Dragapult is just overall a great option here. So no Frostmoth this game. I don't really see Frostmoth ever being like used versus uh, Regigigas. It just seems like a terrible idea. Like, yeah, I have the Focus Sash, but what do I get out of it? I get to Quiver Dance after getting Max Struck, bringing me back down to neutral. <laughs> All right. So I go Tapu Koko Celesteela, they go with this. I can pretty comfortably get off my Reflect. And honestly, I'll just Meteor Beam the Celesteela. I want, or not the Celesteela, the um, Toxpex. I want to be able to do that. Reflect, are they gonna like poison jab me or something? Maybe they have Haze, that'd be annoying. You go for Icy Wind, ooh, okay, okay. Um, I really don't fear this thing anymore. I can go for an Electroweb and a Max Airstream to get all my speed back. They shouldn't be able to one-shot my Tapu Koko without switching out into their Weezing. So I will KO the Weezing here with plus one Max Airstream. And I think with Reflect, I may live Max Quake. Oh, I'm still faster, so <laughs> I'm good. Looks like they're like Max HP Regigigas, which is not usually the best idea. I do survive the Max Quake, which is great. I have more speed control and... Uh, there's no way this, uh, there's no way that Toxpex takes this. Icy Wind Toxpex is very interesting, though. I think fast speed control options are better in this front. Grabbed a random team from the builder. All G. IDK why I'm Levitate. Oh, I didn't even notice. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just win with Electroweb, Max Airstream, and a Kartana. These things are usually Assault Vest, but I think at plus two, I'll KO. They're not Assault Vest, but that's still fine. I can get in the Incineroar for the Intimidate. 
Uh, they're forced to sack to fake out. So go for the fake out and the max steel spike into Regigigas. They do have a lot of um, they do have um, a lot of turns burned though with the Regigigas though. So they may even they may still be able to win. They may still be able to win. I mean, slow start's still active, so no, they are not. I can just go ahead and go for a taunt onto you and a flash cannon onto you. Yeah, we'll do that. Taunt will make it so they can't go for the um, haze that I'm pretty sure they have. Because one of the few reasons to use tox packs in VGC is haze. Let's see if they do it. Muddy water, okay. They don't get the uh, the drop there. I can switch in my Dragapult and just go for the... I'll just Meteor Beam, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like Meteor Beaming just because... Nah, there's no reason to Meteor Beam. I'll just get in Dragapult and go for the Flash Cannon. Two of these should knock it out from this range. Yeah. High Horsepower. I survive it. Get back in the Incineroar. Uh, and I'll just go for a Flash Cannon into you again. They do have Protect, but they can't survive this turn. Get another special attack drop. I survive everything from Kartana and I still have Fake Out. So my play here is just to Air Slash and Fake Out into the Boy, which... Wow, okay, they didn't actually go for the Detect. Interesting. That doesn't KO. Yikes, I don't like that. However, I should be able to go for it now. Uh, I'll switch in the Dragapult. Go for another Air Slash. Hopefully that'll do it because I really don't want to get hazed. Alright, yeah, the KOs. And that's gonna be game. Phantom Force, Flash Cannon, GG. And they can't avoid this. I just got him in a pin here. There's no play to avoid getting KO'd there. Go ahead and queue up a game. Yeah, they forfeited. Or no, they uh lost at the end. Yeah, interesting. They didn't have the uh <laughs> the right ability on the Reggie. Not the Reggie, the uh wheezing. Alright, this looks like it. Why are we facing two? What, what's with Toxapex today? Two Toxapex in a row. I've never seen two Toxapex on the ladder in the same session, if ever. Like, even if I saw like one Toxapex, I haven't seen two. They really have no answers to Celesteela. Besides the uh, Entei, which I don't really mind as long as I get my Reflect off. I should be fine there. I'll bring the Dragapult in the back, just because it seems like a solid option here. And I think my last Pokemon could be Incineroar. Oop, I didn't even want to save that replay. Let me see. Uh, Tepe Coco Celesteela seems nice. Actually, I'll go Frostmoth. They really they have a lot of openings for Frostmoth and Incineroar. Yeah, we'll do that. Taunt on Incineroar is going to be really good. As they lead off, Dragapult, Grimmsnarl. Yeah, I should be good here. Um, these are usually physical. I'll go for a Reflect and a Meteor Beam into you. Mostly concerned with you. Actually, man, let me just Meteor Beam the Dragapult. Yeah, they're going to Dynamax anyway, so... They Thunder Wave me. It's a little annoying. Max Phantasm me. It's pretty annoying. Lost my Celesteela pretty early. I mean, I did a decent chunk of damage. They're Life Orb, so... Um, I should be able to survive this next one. I'm going to lose the Celesteela. Just, I, I definitely am right now. Go for a Dazzling Gleam and a... Uh, Flash Cannon for damage. Ooh, they just let me attack with the Celesteela. I might be able to Dynamax Frostmoth. Okay, hold on. I can definitely just Dynamax Frostmoth here. No Quiver Dance. Um... But this max airstream is going to be nice. And they should be going for a defense drop. I can just protect. Maybe I can live it. Probably not. <laughs> Go for the spirit break. Get a max airstream off. So now I outspeed base 111 Pokemon. And that includes Entei, so that's nice. There's their Entei. I'll go ahead and... Huh, how do I do this? 
there a way I can pull this off? I mean, Incinera is going to be really nice for the end game. I think I'll just max Airstream into Grimmsnarl and go for the Flash Cannon and hope that uh, I can pull it off with just the Incinera in the back. If they Spirit Break, I eat that up. Let's see if they doubled. No, they go for the Sacred Fire on the Celesteela. That's fine because I still have plus two speed. I may be at minus one special attack, but the speed is going to be really good here. Uh, let me get more speed on my guy. I just realized I don't actually have a move to hit the Entei. Yikes. Okay, I messed up. Let me go for the Max Airstream and the Flare Blitz. <laughs> Maybe I can crit. You go for Extreme Speed, that's going to knock me out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's GG. Unfortunately, uh, I got I got naded on by a Dragapult. I want to bring Frostmoth to a game, though, where it can do like some major work. We, I mean, we had decent work in the first game, but... I want to use it where it like just carries itself. Like versus Galarian Moltres, it's really nice. It's really nice versus Galarian Moltres, but you just don't see it as much. This looks like a game where Frostmoth might be able to do something because it takes. It, it doesn't take like very little from Reggie Alecki, but it's enough where it's like not too much of an issue. So I'll lead off Frostmoth here just to see what it can do. Um, I'll bring Celesteel in the back, and I think this is going to be a game where I actually bring Rillaboom. Okay, cool. So, I should be able to Quiver Dance, actually. And I want to taunt this in DD, because I don't think they're going to go for Expanding Force. I think they're going to follow me. I guess my safer play would just be to go Rillaboom. I'll Quiver Dance and get in Rillaboom. Just because, like, I'm taking half damage from Regieleki's move and half damage from Indeedee's move. Together, they're actually going to do a solid amount, so I'll just play it safe. I also get Fake Out in the next turn on the Regieleki, letting me Quiver Dance a second time. Or just, like, max Bug into it. The Helping Hand, okay. And go for an Electro Ball. Okay, okay. So this is actually really good for me. This is actually really good. In fact, this is phenomenal for me. This is phenomenal for me. Let me, um... I want a U-turn. I really do. Because that'll let me get an Incineroar and prevent a... Maybe prevent a Trick Room? It's going to be close. I don't Dynamax yet, I think. I think I'll Quiver Dance one more time. They might be Specs, just, judge, just judging by the damage they did, you know? Go for Fake Out onto you. And Quiver Dance a second time. They go for the Follow Me. That's fine. And now I can U-turn into my Incineroar and just go for the Bug Buzz onto the Indeedee. I'll Bug Buzz into Reggie Lucky though. Or actually, Indeedee makes more sense. And the reason I'm doing this is because... Am I faster than you? I'm likely faster than this thing as long as it's not max speed. We'll see. I would Quiver Dance again, but it just doesn't seem worth it. They Volt Switch. Ooh, okay, this is going to be good because I'm going to knock out the Indeedee and they're probably going to get in Stack Attacka which means I can get an Intimidate and a Taunt on it. Dusclops. Okay, I still get a Taunt on you. Get in the Incineroar. Probably a stack in the back, which uh, Celesteela can deal with just fine as long as I go for max steel spikes consistently. There's the stack attack -a. Um, I'm willing just to get some damage on it. I want to taunt the Dust Cops because that's more likely to be going for the uh, Trick Room than the Stack Attack because Stack Attack is able to go for, um, what's it called? Stack Attack is able to Dynamax here. So my strongest move versus it is Ice Beam. I'm not going to Dynamax just because Max Celesteel is better. Uh, we'll taunt the Dust Cops to prevent the Trick Room as they do Dynamax. As they Ally Switch, phenomenal. We're facing one of those. And they knock out that. Uh, I mean, I knock out... I knock out their Dust Clops now. Go for the Ice Beam. That's kind of annoying, though. I really hate when <laughs> they just say, Hey, you know what? I don't want a Trick Room. Let me go for the Ally Switch. Alright. Um, I'll just Ice Beam into Dust Clops since it'll KO. And I'll also Max Steel Spike into Dust Clops since it'll KO. They can't one-shot my 
Frostmoth. Max Steel Spike. Nice. They go for the Max Rockfall. I'll survive it with the Focus Sash and drop to the Sandstorm. Getting the Rillaboom. I can go for, um... I can go for high horsepower into this thing now, but I should really just target into Regieleki and get another special defense, or get another defense and special attack boost. So I'll fake out and go for the max steel spike. And then I should be able to beat this with uh, Flash Cannon. But man, that's really annoying. I think they would have to attack. Oh no, they just do not. That's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one. I mean, I can knock it out with Max Steel Spike still, but I really don't like the position I'm in because their strongest move versus me is Rock Slide, and I definitely don't want to take an Electro Ball right now. Hmm. I have to attack too. I can't go for like protect or anything because I just don't gain anything from it. They go for a Thunderbolt. Oh my god, that does so much. Looks like I'm going to survive whatever attack they go for. They might just Trick Room on me. So go for the Rock Slide. Okay, I have to crit if I want to win. That's, uh, that's rough. Come on, baby. <laughs> crit. I definitely lost. I definitely lost. Unless they, like, miss entirely whatever move they go for. Yeah, alright, GG. They have Heat Crash, interesting. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. I want to win one more battle with the Frostmoth. Okay, this is actually not a terrible game for Frostmoth. However, we are facing a Wolfie Colossal. So... If they go Colossal, Frostmoth's absolutely useless. But if they don't, we're fine. What I can do is I can lead off... Um, hmm. I can lead off Tapu Koko. And I don't want to lead off Rillaboom because it would just give him free KO versus it. I really don't have any fake out user that doesn't give him a free KO. I'll go Rillaboom just because it's more likely to do work here. Celesteel in the back doesn't seem awful. And Dragapult seems okay, but Incineroar is likely better. Regardless, I'm, this seemed very colossal weak. I don't know why I didn't look at that when I was making it. <laughs> this team is extremely colossal weak. It's the colossal, there's the Dragapult. Um, how do I do this? I mean, I could try to Dynamax and Max Quake, but I don't think I take a plus two Max Flare. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Let's just go for it and see what we get. Uh, let me go for the light screen. And hope that we can take the Max Flare Dynamaxed. Oh, that's fine. As long as I have my light screen up, I'm good pretty much. Let me go for the Reflect, I suppose, and the uh, Max Quake will KO. They can't one-shot the Rillaboom now. They get their speed boost, uh, but behind screens in this, I should take the hit. Yep. Get another one off. Nice. Yeah, they just forfeit. And that is my alarm to go to my next class, which I have in 15 minutes. So I'm going to have to cut it off there. Uh, unfortunately, we like didn't get to use the Frostmoth too much, but I did put in work in a couple of games. It did like pull its weight. Uh, hopefully I can fine-tune this team and eventually release it on cartridge. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Frostmoth in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully I'll make some in-game content. I'll probably have time later on today. I'll see you guys then. Bye.